All right guys, so we just opened up Fusion 360 and first thing we wanna do is load in our reference image. So let's make our way to the top where it says insert. You can select the icon or the drop down and go to insert canvas. Then we can go to insert from my computer and then you wanna select that side reference image. So wherever you stored it on your computer, make your way to that directory and select it and hit open. Now we want to choose the plane to display this on and I'm going to choose this one here. So if we go to the right view by going to the top and selecting the 3D cube and selecting right on it, we're now in the uh, right facing plane. So we'll select this plane to display it on and let's hit OK. Now we'll middle mouse press twice to frame it. And before we get started, I do want to go over one quick theory, you know, because I get this question asked a lot. And it's how do I go about modeling something accurately or at least somewhat accurately with just one reference image. And it's kind of hard to explain, but um, it's simple to explain at the same time, if that makes any sense. So I try to find the most distinguishing feature that's not going to change no matter the view, right? So if I were to do this bottom base area, that's re this rectangular shape, um, I might get it perfect on the right side, but then how do I know how far to make it wide you know so if I go to the front view I don't know how to how far to bring it out to extrude it or the top for that matter there's no way of knowing that but one thing that will never change or fool you is uh, you know cylindrical or rounded shapes because they're always going to be that same exact size so what I want to do is um, choose this area here because this is the area that won't change because it's just a, a revolve and a revolve won't change on the view from the front or back so what I want to do is go to create sketch at the top left. And if you don't see it here, hit the create drop down. And then the second one from the top is create sketch. And then we'll choose this plane. And now we're in sketch mode. And what I want to do is use a two point rectangle to basically um, find the back face line and the front face line and line that up. So here's the two point rectangle and the hot key for that is R. And if you don't want to do that, go to the create drop down, go to rectangle, two point rectangle. And I'll just start to basically create a rectangular shape. And it doesn't matter how big or small it is right now because we're going to change it. Now let's right click, hit OK. And what I want to do is just line up this front line to match somewhere on the reference. And as well as the back line here needs to match this area and I will go a little bit further so I'll go right here because um, just in case I want this to be ready for 3d print you know I don't know what I want to do with this just yet I might just make a model for concept or for 3d printing because I have a lot of friends to do 3d printing so they might want to use this model so I want this shape to fit inside of here so I'm gonna give it a little bit of an extension so it can fit properly right but what I want to do is line this line up with this back one and the front one here and it is at an angle so we have to rotate this and we can rotate this by double clicking any line on here to select the entire line the entire uh, profile then we want to right click and go to move and um, we just need to bring uh, change this pivot point typically I like to do the back but since this front is already lined up, we'll just use that. So we're going to go to set pivot on the right, choose this, and then we'll just make our way to the center here. And this snaps right to the center. So you'll always know where that center line is. Now we have that selected. Now we have to recheck set pivot so we can lock it in. Now we can start to adjust this to line up perfectly. And it's somewhere around here. Negative 2.6 looks to be almost perfect. Now we'll hit OK. And now I need to draw a halfway point, right? And I also want to bring this down a lot lower because we don't want it to be too tall. So we'll choose line, and the hotkey for that is L on the keyboard. And if you don't see it here, hit the create drop down, go to line, which is the first one, and it also shows you the hotkey is right there. So once you have that chosen, Remember I told you uh, it kind of snaps to the center and you see this icon that lets you know, hey, this is the center point. So it's the X with the triangle. So we just have to go horizontally across and find that same shape and 
like we did on the front side, it shows you where it is, where's the center. You can also see that little plus symbol that lets you know where it is. So here it is. Right click, hit OK. Now I do want to um, see at this side, you see it looks a little over the line. So we'll have to bring it up a little bit more because of the way the perspective is, you know. So we'll just dial this up a little bit somewhere around here. That looks a lot better. And then we'll just select the trim tool. And if you don't see it above, go to modify trim and the hotkey is T. And we can start to, oh, let me control Z that. So if you have something selected like this line or this line, as soon as you choose trim, it's going to trim it off, but you can't trim off all three of these at the same time. So it didn't work, but, um, make a habit of not having anything selected when you choose a function because it locks it into place. So we're trimming off the bottom half because we only need one half to rotate. Now I'll go back to the line tool. Remember the hotkey is L. Right. So once you have that, we can start outlining this from the perspective that we see. And I'm staying clear of the pivots, I mean, of the um, fillets, because um, we can adjust those later after we're done doing the general block out. So once I did the outline, now I can start trimming off this top area. So I'll right click, hit OK, and ensure you don't have anything selected, remember? So now we can start clipping these off. Now right click, hit OK to get out of um, trim mode. And now we can use the fillet icon. And if you don't see fillet here, go to modify, fillet. And then we can start rounding off some of these harsh corners. And I think I'll leave this one how it is because um, I'm actually going to make a dip later on, make a little hole, and then create an inset. So now I can start revolving this. So I'll go to Finish Sketch. Then I'll go to Revolve. And if you don't have this icon above, just go to Create drop down, and then go to Revolve. And select this uh, profile if it's not selected already. And then go to axes and it's already selected. So we can just choose this bottom line and it's going to revolve perfectly. And you see also why I moved it up because it would have been so much bigger once I did the revolve. And if that makes sense, we'll just hit okay. And then we just continue with the process.